Uh, so today we are going to start with uh, the Boolean data type. Uh, uh, so Boolean, right? It it just uh, I know represents uh, true or false values in in C sharp, right? Uh, so let's see how we can declare a Boolean variable. So I can say bool. Uh, let's call it as is valid equals to true. OK, and I can also create another variable. Let's call it as is. I'll call it as is invalid. Give it an initial value of false. OK, so if you see right how I'm naming these variables, uh, so this is the convention that we usually use with Boolean uh, variables. Uh, so we usually start with is and then what, what we are trying to validate, right? So in this case, I'm just calling it as is valid. Uh, in the other case, I'm just calling it as is invalid. OK, uh, so this is how you initialize a Boolean uh, variable. Uh, so next thing is. Uh, Let's say if you're trying to take, uh, I'll just clean, clear everything from here. So this is from the last video that we saw on strings. So let's clear this. Let's create a string variable. Uh, let's say string user input. Okay. So input, and then I'm do I'll do a console dot write line. Let's ask user a question. Is the operation? Let's probably say, are you above thirty? Are you above thirty years? So I'm just asking a question and we'll just uh, take a user input. So I'll say console dot read uh, read line. Okay, so whatever I. The input that the user gives, I'm going to store that in user. This uh, string variable that we have. So now uh, let's assume that the user. Bots. Now we have to do a conversion, uh, right? So I can define another variable. Let's say bool uh, user input. And I'll just. Call it as user input Boolean and do a convert. Convert dot to Boolean. Uh, so the string is a user input. Right line. Okay. Your pause input Boolean. This and we'll come back to these uh, other two variables. OK, so I'll just put a breakpoint here. Uh, probably. Uh, yeah, let's run this. So are you about uh, 30 years old? Uh, so I'll probably say true. OK. And if I go back to the console. So it has written something on the console and it's saying your input was true. OK, so it did that con uh, conversion from string to Boolean. OK, so this is how we declare uh, Boolean variables. This is how we do the uh, conversion if you are converting from a string to a Boolean, right? Now the thing with Boolean is if we, we have seen like variables like string, right? if I hover over string type, if you see here, it says that class system dot string, right? Uh, so this string is actually a reference type in C sharp and it is represented as a class. Hmm? But if I hover over bool, if you see here, this is not a class, right? This is a struct. This is actually a, uh, it's, it's not a reference type uh, in C sharp. So the the thing here is so for example. 
if you are declaring uh, a variable is valid. So because this is not a reference type, so I cannot say that OK is valid equals to null, right? If I hover over this, what it says is cannot convert null to bool because it's a not nullable value type. It's a reference type. Sorry, it's a value type and it's not nullable. So what I can do is if you if you have a requirement wherein you want null values to be stored in a Boolean, uh, what I can do is I can convert this into a nullable bool, right? So how we do this is uh, probably I'll create a new variable so that it's clear. So I can say bool with a question mark. So this basically means it's a nullable bool. So I'll say is valid nullable. OK, and I can put this uh, assign this a null value. So this is important if you are working uh, in an environment where there's a requirement, especially if you are passing data across multiple systems and you want uh, null value uh, to define that. OK, there is no value associated with this uh, this variable. Yeah, so this is how we define nullable um, Boolean types in C sharp. So now let's also. Uh, Take a look at a conditional operator, right? So let's say what I want to do is uh, I want to do a console dot write line. So I want to just put something on the console based on what is there in this variable, right? Uh, okay, so, so let's say is valid. If this is valid is true, and I'll come back to this question mark. What does this mean, right? This is this is actually the conditional operator. So if if this is true, then I I just want to put uh, on the screen that the operation is valid. Otherwise, I want to say the operation is invalid. Okay. Now what this would do is it would check the value. Uh, of this variable. If this is true, it's going to print out this on the screen. If this is false, this is going to print out this, right? And instead of is valid, uh, let's just probably use this user input boolean, right? So I'll give if I if the user gives an input true, it is going to print out this. If the user is going to uh, say false, it is going it should print out this on the screen, right? Uh, and then I'll just probably comment this. I don't want this on the screen. Uh, and I think this is this should be OK. Let's run this. So are you over 30 years old? Uh, I'll say. True. And there's a breakpoint that got hit, so I'll just say continue. So I'll co come back here. So because I uh, I chose true in the yeah, the first input, so now it is saying the operation is valid, right? So let's run this again. So now if I say false here, it should actually give the other output. The operation is invalid, right? So this is how the conditional operator works. So this is uh, so we'll we'll be uh, looking into if blocks, how if else blocks work in C sharp. Uh, but if if you want on on the basis of Boolean, if you want just a conditional operator, you can always use this uh, question mark uh, to to perform this logic. OK, so that's all about Boolean. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next video.